Is your data center prepared for the next major site outage, such as a power failure, a fiber cut, or maybe something even worse like a natural disaster? Veeam has always provided built-in replication technology with many robust features, such as being hardware agnostic, providing network re-IP and remapping capabilities, as well as automated failover verification testing. But now we're taking it to the next level to solve a few remaining business challenges that many organizations still face. Number one is limited bandwidth. We're directly addressing this by enabling our built-in WAN acceleration technology to now work with replication. If you'd like to learn more around our WAN acceleration, please view one of our other feature videos specific for that technology. Number two, many organizations are realizing today that simply having backups off-site does not give them the availability that they will need in the event of a site outage. But at the same time, they don't want to add any extra strain on their production environment to replicate off-site. Veeam is directly solving this challenge by allowing you to now replicate from your pre-existing backup files. And number three, traditionally Veeam failover has been a manual driven process. We're resolving that challenge by now allowing orchestration of the failover prior to the disaster using Veeam failover plans. Let's take a look at a few of these enhancements in the software. The first thing that we're looking at here in our Veeam console is an existing replication job. You'll notice on the data transfer tab, we now have a new option through built-in WAN accelerators. This is how you're going to enable the traffic optimization that we now provide for replication. Number two, under our virtual machines tab, where you're choosing your source VMs to replicate, we now have an option to choose from backup files. The final thing I want to look at is the actual failover plan. Here you'll see two example failover plans that we've created for stage one and stage two or our site failover. If we modify the primary failover plan, you'll notice that you're able to run pre and post failover scripting, as well as control the order at which your VMs get started up and any necessary delays in between those boot cycles. A great example here is failing over your domain controller first for authentication services, followed by the rest of your VMs. Thank you very much for taking time to watch this video on our replication enhancements. Have a great day.